pounds. Jesus. Oh. Be careful. All right, so. Let's see if we can figure out where to go. Oh, hello. Whoa. Hi there, you must be the superb trainers in our triumphant our latest battle challenge. Oh, okay. He's just gonna leave me. That's good. I love the in sync walks. No. Oh snap, is that the Marissa Lenti? <gasps> no. Oh, okay. I'm sorry guys, the dog upstairs is going again. You should snag it and then put it in the PC forever. I would love <laughs> to. Comet, come here. We gonna voice these guys or are we gonna wait till Mirror B comes back? Uh, you, you can voice them, who cares? Right, I'm back with our latest challenge champion. Let's present our lucky winner with a shadow Pokemon and watch Chaos Unleash. Foo, foo, foo. <laughs> This is the girl one. I love this that everyone wants to. One. Everyone wants to fuck Wes. He's just too sexy. <laughs> oh, nice one. Our new champ is quite the appealing charmer. It makes a nice change from the parade of macho muscle men. Wait, this isn't happening. What isn't happening? This guy. Know. He's that Wes guy that Mir B been carrying on about. What? The guy who messed with us in Phoenix City? Oh, I didn't know that when I let him in here. I'll boot you back out. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I believe you have to fight both of them in a row. And I remember the girl being kind of tough for some reason. This girl guy's got power. Yanma you can steal. Yeah. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but I respect that he's a bug trainer. Jello only respects bug trainers. No respect I respect, respect ghost else. trainers. Well... Well, I respect ghost <laughs> trainers that aren't hex maniacs just because their reputation. The I mean, that's not her fault. Oh, you know yeah, really it's actually. Also, no respect for Morty for not using a single Johto ghost type. No that's a good Morty point. Girl. Yeah, a single go Johto ghost type. All the options he's <laughs> rife with. You know, mischievous. Mischievous? Uh, didn't use her. Didn't Jodo, use her. Game Freak really has a lot to answer uh, when it comes to specifically Johto's design regarding the new Pokemon types and new Pokemon mechanics they should have been showing off constantly. Where it's like, man, we've got all these new dark type Pokemon. And by that, I mean, I think five of them. Where should we put them? Well, uh, the first one you can find Kendo. is technically an Umbreon. So if they happen to level up their uh, Eevee with friendship at night, then they've got an okay shot at an Umbreon. It's like, all right, since this is a new mechanic, they will never figure that shit out. Um, what, what else do we got? Oh, uh, well, there's um, a Sneasel, which you can find at a very low percent chance in between the seventh and eighth gym. It's not looking good, gang. Uh, what, what else? What else? Well, uh, we got uh, Houndoom and Houndour. Yeah, those are badass. Where are those? They are on one three-foot-long route in late-game Kanto, only at night. Wait, uh, if they're new what? Pokemon, why are they in an old region? Huh? What? Oh, they're lost. Huh? They all oh, got they, lost. They went that's, too far. <laughs> oh, they're lost. <laughs> that, that's dark types. They're tricky. They're tricky sons of guns. Uh, do you have any more? Murkrow. Where, where do you get Murkrow? I literally don't even know. I've never even seen a Murkrow. <laughs> I think maybe you headbutt trees or it's like outside of Goldenrod at night. I don't quite recall. Yeah, I think, like I think they're headbutt Pokemon. Are they? That sounds I, right. I'm gonna I mean, look that up. I actually don't tree, know. Shake it. A crow will come out at you. Yeah. I don't think they're like I don't think they're headbuttable that early in Johto. Otherwise, I would have had one. Um, let's see. It was good in Man in Soul Silver. I got a Murkrow from the Poke Walker right before Mo Morty's gym. Oh. oh, so nice. And it could turn into Honchkrow in that game. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, uh, let's. Oh no, this is the wrong. Uh, this is the wrong Pokedex. Pokedex, Gold Silver Crystal. Okay, is it Gold Silver? What's the What's the thing? Help me out here, Sarah B. 
All right. I'll no. Just, I'll, just, I'll, I'll just go in manually. Yeah, and then like in in that generation two, they unleash steel, and there's yeah. Scizor. I was ready to. I was so ready to go on with this bit the entire time, but I've, I'm Murkrow is really uh, <laughs> really. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hold my bit. I'll I'll, I'll wait till you're till you're. Thank back. you. Here you can yeah. you can take over. You know what? I'll just finish. Uh, well, there's got to be another dark type Pokemon somewhere. Of course there is. Tyranitar. The, oh, sort of the yeah. Dragon Knight of this game. Oh yeah, where do you get Tyranitar? Can you like win a Larvitar like a Dratini fairly early on and raise it the whole game? No. Okay, uh, where do you get a Larvitar? You know Mount Silver? Mount Silver? That's the post-game area. That's after content. It's in Mount Silver? Yeah, in some areas with a 5% chance. Okay, when, I mean, and then, and then it evolves at level 55. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Pseudos, <laughs> baby. <laughs> it's, it's unreal. Yeah, now that you bring it up, it was one of those things that I, I'd always kind of noticed, but then like actually hearing it back to back, it's like, yeah, wait, what the fuck, what? <laughs> Bro, I love dark types. They get shafted so bad. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, glad they finally got a little more focus. Um, dark type gym, baby. Yeah, they as finally as, got one. As much as I shit on uh, shit on Gen Four, it is kind of that and Gen Five are the the gens that made. Uh, bug types, not a joke anymore, which is nice. Yeah, that's true. All right, let's take a look. Where can you find a Murkrow? Uh, someone in chat actually I... mentioned. Uh, Route Oops. seven and sixteen at night, looking it up. Those okay. Route seven, I believe all of those are Kanto routes. Yep, yep, and yes. Why all would they be in are... Kanto? It doesn't make any sense. Why? Now the steel Pokemon, these are really cool. They resist <laughs> almost everything. And steel, unlike dark, has a new gym and we're gonna show them off. All right, that's that's pretty cool. What steel type Pokemon what can you get? Well, Magnemite is just in the grass uh, in between Ecrotique and Jasmine Town, the name of which I don't remember. All right, all that's reasonable. All yeah. All of mine. Thank you. Uh, what, what, what else, uh, what other ones? Oh, the other ones? You're never gonna see them! What do you mean I'm never gonna see them? You want a Steelix? Yes, I do want Go a Steelix. Go get it! Go get it! Well, first you need an Onyx, and then you need to trade it to your friend with a Metal Coat. I mean, that's not, I mean, that's not that bad. That's, that's a fairly good way to tie into our trading system, but here's the catch. You want a Scizor? I absolutely want a scissor, yes. You also need a metal coat. And guess how many there are in each game? One, one. There's one, you little bitch! There's <laughs> only one! So I hope you've got a friend who doesn't want to steal Pokemon. Well, there's gotta be other steal Pokemon. Oh, there's one more. What is it? You know, Pinaco? <sighs> Barely, yeah. It's, it's unusable. It's Pretty literally hard. the worst. Okay. Do you, oh yeah, and there's Skarmory also. Yeah, Skarmory, Skarmory is catchable. Skarmory is fine, whatever. Doesn't learn any good moves, but Skarmory's there. It's okay. pretty late game too. It, yeah, it doesn't it, evolve. It's, you can get it before the eighth gym, which in terms of new Pokemon types is actually pretty good on the bell curve. Yeah. Um, and so you want a, you want a fortress? I guess, I guess I want a fortress. All right. You gotta take a Pinaco, which is exclusively a fairly rare headbutt chance Pokemon. Uh-huh. Now, how how high do you think you need to level that Pinaco? That's a bug type, so I don't know, like maybe 16 at worst. No. Fucking uh Ariados is 22, and Ariados is a two evolution. Is it 22? No. Is it like 26? No. Th 30? No! No, you idiot! Go higher! Fucking 35, higher! 40? <laughs> four, four, 40 levels with a Pinaco? The Elite Four aren't even at 40. That's right, you little fuck! I, you want a I, fortress, I, you're gonna suffer! I, I remember working my ass off to get a fortress, and then I finally got it, and I was like, it's bad. Because I was oh, young, and I don't know. <laughs> it's just, not good, though. It was just this, like, cool shell with cannons. I was like, that oh, looks awesome. 
We should probably be reading these actual cutscenes. It's okay. They're not saying anything super important. Shadow oh, so Pokemon! Shadow so Pokemon! Shadow Pokemon! They're, they're not saying anything important. Oh, so it's a Pokemon game. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> How could you forget such important lines as Pokemon? Okay. <laughs> Save, I will never forget that line. That's going to be the only thing on my gravestone. My name won't even be on there. They were using the Colosseum to do that? I think this was me again. Yes, Marsha. Big lady, my papa. Papa's Pokemon was taken away by Mira B as a prisoner. He did what? Mira B used a dirty move like that. Ooh, that's almost as bad as throwing me in a bag. It's <laughs> what? It's, it's, it's hard to do a baby voice and also that stupid East Coast accent <laughs> that only cartoon characters have. It's Papa's Plusle. I'm so worried they might be mean to it. It's humiliating having a Plusle. <laughs> but with Plusle in their filthy hands, my own hands are tied. He's not getting away with this, that rotten mirror bee. But we're here now. We'll get Plusle back for you, right, Wes? Please say no. Oh, no, so we funny. love Plusle. <laughs> Giggle. I, I know I can always. My whole life, without knowing mirror bee was an enemy. I thought he was a gym leader or something. No. Nope. The bad. I, I mean, he's essentially a gym leader I as far as this game is concerned. He was a good person. Never no. meet your heroes, kids. No! I mean, I think he, isn't he like vaguely a neutral or good guy in the second game? Because he's like the only character who comes back almost. He's not, yeah. he's not a good guy. He's just sort of a rascal running around. He's a rascal. <laughs> That's fine. <coughs> All right. Duking, it's dangerous inside this building. You've got to get everyone out to safety. Thanks for everything. I have to depend on you. I have no choice. Be careful always. Mirror Beam might look like a clown, but his battling is all business. I gotta get out of here! Like, I won't say he's easy, but is his battle not a little bit of a joke in its own way? We found no, the, very serious. We found the Ein file. Ein file oh, oh H boy. is written on the file's Who cover. Read it. Who's who's gonna be Ein? We gotta we gotta dip. Obviously, Will is the second gym leader equivalent. And then Venus, and then Ayn. So yeah. I... Who wants to be Ayn? He's like a Siv. Yeah. Siv, I think you should be Ayn. Do an Aram scientist impression. Oh, I see. Am I reading this out? Yes. Yeah, because this is his file. Hyper mode. <laughs> Shadow Pokemon, perhaps because of their own overwhelming power, may behave abnormally at times. They may engage in such behavior as ignoring orders, even turning on their own traders in battle. This I have named Hyper Mode. <laughs> on the plus side, Hyper Mode raises the critical ratio of Shadow Rush. However, Hyper Mode also prevents the use of items on the Pokemon. Hyper Mode is easily dispelled. <laughs> Simply call the Pokemon by name. <laughs> However, this method has a major drawback. Calling the shadow Pokemon's name causes the closed door of its heart to loosen and even open for every Pokemon that is just named, you know, Pikachu. And he, he's also named Pikachu. That guy, <laughs> thankfully named Pikachu. Further research is urgently needed. Shadow Pokemon Lab, Chief Hein. You guys hear about the new visual novel, thankfully named Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> thankfully, just Pikachu. Dude, I don't know how I did it, but I I have the Plusle from this game still in my current game, wow. and he's level 100. Whoa. Good. I mean, I at this was... point, he would have to be, right? Well, I don't know what kind of shit I was on as like a 15 year old <laughs> that I was like, I'm going to level this Plusle all the way up. Going to the top with you, Blizzle. You at you, Marissa. Uh, listen, <laughs> I'm I, I totally wasn't organizing my shiny Pokemon when you texted me about this. 
I know, Marissa. Why are you embarrassed about this? We're already friends. You act like it's a dirty little secret. You tweet it. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Dude, I just got a jolly mint for my for my red Gyarados that I moved up from Heart Gold Soul Silver. What is a jolly mint? Uh, it changes their stats um, so that so that it's like they have a jolly nature, which is appropriate oh. for Gyarados. Oh. Mm-hmm. I didn't know Gyarados could... are famously jolly. Yes. Yeah. I didn't know that you could give them a single mint and rewrite their personality. That's well, terrifying. The personality hey, actually Will, stays some, the same. I have some requests for Evan Ward. <laughs> Were you gonna give one to Bella so she's not a psychopath? Be gone, freak. Be gone, <laughs> thought. Yeah, their, their oh, personality there... doesn't change, but their stats will change to be the person, like, as if it were the personality that you're giving them the mint for. Mm. It's okay. useful. Hello. Too bad for you, this elevator is off limits. Oh. Oh, shit. Angel, it sounded like you were going to ask something. Uh, no, I don't, I don't remember what it was. Maybe this girl's the tough one. Maybe she's got a shadow fan fee and it has, like, rollout. Uh, so if you don't kill it, it's a fucking annoying. <laughs> Love to see our Flappy so purple already. Yeah. Or, you know. You know what I meant. Yes. You know what I mean. So not purple. <laughs> so the opposite <laughs> of what I said. You know, I always called him fan fee too. It really messed me up when I found out that that was wrong. <laughs> Is it wrong? It's, it's fan P. Yeah, fan P. There's no, there's no other age. Oh. Oh, yeah. D but doesn't it sound wrong? It does. It, it is wrong, and I will continue to ignore that. <laughs> this should be fan fee. Fan fee's cuter. Yeah. <sighs> Pokemon team dropping the ball again. <laughs> Man, talking about steel and dark types. How about that Steelix that? is an evolution of a Pokemon with terrible stats, and one of his stats gets worse. <laughs> oh. oh, man. I forgot that Misdreavus has Levitate, so it's also immune to ground moves. Yes. Misdreavus is a good Pokemon. Dodge tank, dodge tank. Misdreavus is the tricksty Pokemon. Don't also, all right, man. So, ghost types in the last gen. We fucked up. We they were supposed to be super effective on psychic, but we're all drunk all the time. So it turns out it was the opposite of that, and they didn't affect psychic Pokemon in Gen One because we're all clowns. So, uh, psychic Pokemon, they're balanced. We got we got dark types. We got uh, we got new ghost types. Hit me up with the new ghost types you came up with last week. The the new ghost types. Yeah, oh. yeah. Your assignment. You're supposed to come up with four or five new ones. So, um, mm, uh, well, I had one idea that was so good, I thought it encompassed all five of them. <clears throat> okay, so you have one pitch? Yes. What is it? Uh, <laughs> a ghost? Yes. Yeah. It's like a lady ghost. Uh, uh it's got a necklace. It's like it a, 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 a banshee, a banshee? No, it's, it's, it sings. Okay. So it knows like Parish song then? Yeah, that's, yes, great idea. I mean, yeah, that was my thought. Um, <laughs> where do you, where do you catch it? Like right outside the ghost type gym? Fuck, there's a ghost type gym. I didn't put it there. Uh, you know, Mount Silver. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just in Mount Silver. Okay. Um, does it like have an evolution? No. no. No, no. I thought, you know, I saw Ghastly and I was like, this evolves too many times. So with yeah. Mistrevis, it won't evolve at all. Cool. Okay. Well, at least you cut down on how many water Pokemon you added, right? Oh, no. <laughs> you know, for what it's worth, I actually think Gen 2 has almost exclusively good water Pokemon inclusions. Like all of them are interesting in some way or another, but yeah, I super agree. Stop making fish Pokemon. Well, I mean- Well, it's like forget... a different fish. Who, um, could for... 
I'll go for it. <laughs> I gotta have love disc and a mola mola mola. They're both necessary. Uh, I mean, who could forget the best one, Quillfish? That's true. Quillfish is funny, and also at least it's a thing. Like, anytime there's a Pokemon that's like, this is based on a new animal we haven't done before, it gets a pass from me. Hey. Cause yeah. it's just like, fine. You know what I just remembered? Pokemon randomizer. What'd you just uh, remember? I just remembered that there's a shadow Quillfish in this game. There is. Fuck yeah. Does it know explosion? I don't know. Uh, you, you were know saying what's... you were saying something, Siv? Uh, Keen and I were doing our Emerald Randomizer last night, and uh, Quillfish happened to be Wally's route, so um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy! <laughs> Sucks to be him. Did it stay as a Quillfish though? Uh, yeah. Well, it has to, because Quillfish doesn't evolve. <clears throat> I thought maybe it would like default back to Ralts by some. No. Game f heckery. Because uh, nah. if he catches a if he catches a shiny Ralts, it defaults back oh, to regular Ralts. Lame. Yeah. Yeah. That's such an insult. <laughs> he already, like, he's already no. losing so much, you know. <laughs> what is interesting about the lack of ghost Pokemon in Gen Two, though, is that when they dumped the Beta Rom, there's another ghost type in there what that got it? cut. He there's so many cool ideas in the in the beta that like Metal Ditto evolution is a great idea. I love Dark type Giraffarag. I That's I, like so much better than beta the Giraffe normal Giraffarag. Giraffarag is so good. But like yeah, he's like a little he's like a little voodoo doll panda, and he evolves and, into a hopping vampire panda. Oh, yeah, that actually. one was so fucking cool. That is really cool. And they cut him. But they kept the ghost gym leader and didn't give him his Treefus, the one that stayed behind. And it's not like they couldn't have. Like, Mistrevis, like, it learns most of its shit at a high level and it comes in at a high level, but it's not like you can't have a level 15 Mistrevis. Yeah. Come on, I can't guys. believe this motherfucker has a fucking Larvitar. Asshole. Get it! Time to swap that Flaffy out. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, let's go. I, I do brought, love uh, Quagsire. Eh. I do love Giraffe Rig. I'm not a fan of it. Never have been. I I had a mono psychic team because um, I was part of the Pax Pokemon League where you wore like bright green bands and people could come find you and challenge you to Pokemon battles. Mm -hmm. And I had a mono psychic team. And consistently, without fail, people would waste a Shadow Ball on Girafferig, forgetting that it was half normal, and I'd get a free shot. And I'm like, <laughs> this is the best Pokemon! <laughs> <laughs> no contest! Best Pokemon! I like Girafferig. What else? It's been a while since I thought about the Pokemon Gold Beta. What else was in there that There's didn't get brought in? Thingy. Baby Meowth. I... <laughs> Oh yeah, I, on knows. I honestly prefer Beta Wooper. Now that I've seen what it is, Beta I Wooper love both of them. Cat. Little Wooper boy. God. All right. <clears throat> Show me the fucking Dead. Pokemon. Jesus oh yeah, Christ. Anchor Shark. Anchor Shark was cool. They were like, nah, Quillfish gets in. Yeah, get out of here, Anchor Shark. You know what? We also, we're going to need that stupid little sunflower. Sunflora. Sun alone. Those things are worthless. I love death. I mean, leave, <laughs> leave Sun Current alone. If you do anything to it, it'll die in one hit. And it has no way to defend <laughs> itself because it's objectively the most useless Pokemon in combat. That's true. I love that Sunkern in in the remakes they gave it one thing it was the best at one reason for Sunkern to exist which is in that like stupid thing they added with like the Pokéthon or whatever they uh different pokemon can have like there's like jump sports and run sports or whatever and water sport and mud sport and if you have like what is it 
they each Pokemon has different potential, and then they can level, but most of them have, like, different caps. And no Pokemon has five-star potential in all things except Sunkern. <laughs> Somebody was having a good time. <laughs> oh, man, I'm... God, and right, and Murkrow's hat originally was like a little witch's hat. That's so mm -hmm. cute. I mean, it still is. Just doesn't, not quite so much. Could be more witchy. Murkrow and Mistrevis are kindred souls. Yeah. Gotta say, Miss Magius, excellent Pokemon. Yes, I love Miss yeah. Magius. Yeah, it's pretty good. A plus. Most of those other evolutions I fucking hate. Honchkrow's good. I, I like Honchkrow. I, I like a surprising amount of the uh, Gen 4 additions to previous Pokemon. It kind of felt like they were just like, whatever. Gen 4 is just going to be shitty and it'll be our Pokemon on patch notes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Licky Licky so much. Ruined a perfectly like Licky good Licky. Pokemon. No, Lickitung's so much cuter. What? How can you possibly draw a line between Lickitung and Licky Licky and be like, yo, one of these is adorable? <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the face shape. Licky Licky's is too human. Lickitung looks like a little, like, lizard boy. I would not describe Licky Licky as human looking. <laughs> it's too human. It's gross. Disgusting. It's bipedal. They're... Get it out of here. Their exactly. heads are both shaped like balls. No, yeah. lick of tongues is shaped like a little bean, and that's better. Okay, lick of tongue is disgusting. <laughs> and Marissa and typing up an email to every director in LA. Do not hire Brendan Blaber. He is a, he is a <laughs> menace. Licky licky. Gross. So, Disgusting. <laughs> so Licky Licky, I have a soft spot for it because it is the best part of the Darkrai Pokemon yes! movie. Yes! Where the only good thing about that shit tier movie is that there's like this random second. So you know how like in, in like Hallmark movies and stuff, there'll be like the main couple who are obviously going to get together. And then there's always like a Gaston flavored like I'm rich and a jerk, and I'm also interested in the main character, but she won't choose me because I stink! Like that character. There's one of those in that movie uh, for the girl of the film who is like a blonde hot air balloonist, which I'm here for. And he has one Pokemon. It is Licky Licky. And I don't even know how this happens, but like... <laughs> Somehow he gets cursed or nightmared into, like, either switching bodies with his Licky Licky or just becoming a Licky Licky. It's and he's just like, I don't like being a Licky Licky. And Team Rocket is following him around, like, trying to get some of his money or some shit. And they're like, oh, sir, we'll do anything you want. And when they annoy him at one point, he just, like, licks them and knocks them off a cliff with his tongue. <laughs> yeah. She does. Tar Cry was sorry, okay his movie. Name also Incorrect. Like Baron Von Licky Licky. No, it's I think his name's Alonzo or Alfonso. I see. Yeah. I thought the Dark Cry movie was okay. It's, it's fine. not. It's it's alright. It's it's very, very bad. It's okay. It's not. I like the music in it. Okay. Does that make the whole movie good? I didn't say it made the whole movie good. I said it was okay. <laughs> It's not. It's literally not even okay. <laughs> almost, almost none of the Pokemon movies are okay. It's fine. Cool opinion. Too it's, bad it's wrong. It's fine. <laughs> Entei movie good. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. That's fine. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, if only more people could be as charitable as Jello. <laughs> <laughs> The Entei movie is significantly better than 80% of the other Pokemon movies, and even then, it's just okay. <laughs> what about the movie where Ash kisses a Latias? That's I... the second best movie. Yeah, I was gonna In say, Venice. I actually like that one better than the third movie. <laughs> Which, as we all know, is connected to Italy by the shore. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I really... Uh, yeah. 
I I like the concept of the Entei movie and a lot about it so much, and it definitely has the most interesting antagonist for a Pokemon piece of media, but the last, like, 25 minutes of that Entei movie are so fucking boring and not interesting at all. Someone in the chat says, what about the Digimon movie? Yeah, what about it? And I say, Our which heads. one? <laughs> you know which one they mean. <laughs> of course you mean the... The dub. Of course you mean the dub. It's my favorite movie. I've seen it upwards of 20 times. Yeah, I was gonna say that movie is better than all of the Pokemon movies combined. <laughs> well, that's not fair because a lot of those Pokemon movies bring it back down. <laughs> yeah, are we, if our negatives bringing down that score, because if that's the case, you're absolutely <laughs> correct. Pokemon does have more movies also. <laughs> And Digimon's got some, it's got some movies that are bad. Are bad. Also, the Wait, first, you, saying, the first hang movie. Hang on, can you look at that benefit. bookshelf again? Yeah, I know. I I read it twice too. Like, okay. <laughs> the shelves are lined with apparently difficult books. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Wes, calm down. Wes is just like I was in the gifted reading program. <laughs> I got moved up to AP English. Uh, apartment complex. I thought it was rather simple. <laughs> Digimon Rui movie Adam. also has the advantage of actually being three movies. <laughs> and most hey. of it is the good one. Ain't that duking? No. That's Ackman. That's Ackman. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different person, huh? Yeah. All right. One thing I do kind of like about this game is trainer classes aren't really a thing. It's mostly just guys. So you're always kind of surprised by what team they've randomly decided to specialize in. Yeah, don't want that thing to explode. So it's it's gotta go. Die. It's probably really fast. Let's see how fast it is. Okay, well, quick attack is cheating. Also, the um the other actually okay Pokemon movie is the Lucario one. Yeah, I like that one. I like I like the first one, the first movie a lot actually. That one's probably my favorite. I think the localizers did a very good job with what that movie was, and it has a really good soundtrack. The first movie? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, The first yes. couple Pokemon movies have really good soundtracks, actually. The first three of them all do. Shaman can go die. You get it! Yeah. <laughs> oh, what about Manaphy? You know what? That was not bad, I actually. actually. I don't hate that one. I've seen that one three times, and that movie feels like it's three and a half hours long. It is a <laughs> lengthy fucking movie for no reason. Yeah. It's it's just Laputa Castle in the Sky, but done on a budget of eleven dollars and with Pokemon, and it's and like the ocean. it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's it's all right. I love Laputa. The other actually good Digimon movie is the Digimon Data Squad movie. It's got nice uh, animation. The yeah, rest of them are not suck, great. <laughs> oh, don't. No, I love that season. <laughs> no, that season has Marcus Damon in it. Uh, yeah, you would say the that. The dude Marissa. that punches God. He's my boyfriend. I uh, yeah, care. you would say that. I feel like he was probably pretty impressionable for you. <laughs> yeah. I I wish I had Marissa's ability to, like, look at a pile of garbage and then be like, Oh, look, there's an unopened Tootsie Pop in here. What a good bag of items I like. It's like, Marissa, there's one Tootsie Pop in there. Listen... <laughs> There's other good things about Data Squad. You know what? The main reason I kept watching Data Squad was because Crispin Freeman was one of the main three. He sure was. <laughs> I don't think you can say shit about it then to Marissa. <laughs> for Thomas, Thomas Stan. Thomas Stan. I can't believe his name was Thomas. His his name was Thomas in the dub. Pretty cool. You know what? That's not true. Sam and Jameson are also in that season. 
It's a good season. It's got a good. It's it's got a good dub. No, it's got things about it that I do like, but overall, it was just very weird for me to watch. Oh. <laughs> it is a weird season. <laughs> Someone in chat, I love Destiny Deoxys, but I wish it didn't repeat that one song like four or five times. <laughs> I will say, I I love like the middle of Destiny Deoxys, where it straight up turns into a horror movie. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> that that whole segment is really good. Uh, my two problems with Destiny Deoxys is that uh, it's one of the few pieces of media I can non-ironically point at and go, CUBES! Yes! Because the entire last third is just cubes become the villain, and th there is no more explanation than that, it's just cubes. I was literally uh, gonna bring up the cubes, me and my brother love the cubes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind the cubes as much. My big thing for that movie is that Tori is afraid of every Pokemon and that's his thing. I frankly do not believe you could function in that universe if you were scared across the board of all Pokemon. They are yeah. inescapable. They are not only all animals, they are plants. They are technological. They are everywhere. And it's just like, I get it. You were almost trampled by some walruses when you were little. If you're afraid of walruses, okay. If you're afraid of Pokemon that are blue, got it. If you're afraid of Pokemon of that size, got it. Makes perfect sense. Are you afraid of terrestrial Pokemon? Fine. I'm afraid of all Pokemon. Fuck right off. Get out of my face. <laughs> because like the, the society is so heavily built around Pokemon in that universe. It is, you cannot get away from it in any capacity. Like, and freaking like, cars look like Pokemon. And his thing is like, Tori's like, the only one who understands this weird wisp that is actually like Deoxys projecting its data or something. It's like, oh yeah, Tori, where's your fucking line, you little bitch? What's the difference between a floating multicolored sphere and like a ghastly or a cast form? Is it eyeballs? Are you afraid of things with eyes? Yeah, because there's it... Pokemon without eyes. Why did you see that and not assume it was a Pokemon? I hate him. I hate Tori <laughs> so much. Tori Bull. <laughs> Pokemon are so ingrained in our society. We used to marry Pokemon, you know? Let's what? not. <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> what? What? Yes. Yeah? what? There's like a bit of very missable flavor text in the Sinnoh games where you can read a book and they're like, and we used to marry Pokemon and they sat at our dinner table. And it's like, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> All right. That's the, that's the Pokemon version, uh, universe's equivalent of like how Japan is weirdly cool with like lollies and like incest and shit. Like in, in Unova, it'll be like, oh yeah, in this, in this Pokemon anime, they marry the Pokemon and all the Unovans are like, ugh. This fucking, this fucking Johto bullshit again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, hmm. That's not great. Yeah, well, you know. Too many more, Jesus Christ, there's so many guys in this building. This is, and this was in like the same generation where they were like, uh, Lopany. All right. <laughs> we gotta justify it somehow. I love that Low Pony hates the shit out of you. <laughs> Good for her. The fucking Alola woman dating a Machamp. <laughs> yeah. Pokemon's and weird, dude. <laughs> any of you guys here like Monster Hunter? <laughs> mean Monster Rancher? Yeah, I love Monster Rancher. I I remember, like, when I was really, really young, I was so excited anytime I caught any episode of Monster Rancher because I could never figure out when the fuck it was on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, ah, oh, cool, they're here now. When they get the Lightning Wolf, he's cool. <laughs> Monster Rancher is great because it'll be like three episodes of like, do do do, we gotta find some food. And then the fourth episode would be like, and I saw a genocide happen right here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, oh no. And then fucking Mike Wazowski's like, I'm still the most useless party member. Oh, sweet. So. Mike Wazowski. <laughs> That's what he was! I, I know. There. He gets like, I, a whole episode about how he hates being the most useless party member, so like, they knew. They knew. Yeah. 
And then there was what? Chum Chum? M Mochi? What's Mochi. his name? Yeah, Mochi. Oh, Mochi, Hair. yeah, yeah. F wow, Ooh. really? Tiger. Yeah, Tiger was the wolf, right? Yeah. Why'd they do that? Uh, it's a mistranslation of Raiga, which means thunder. Well, nice work, guys. Bye, Mr. Ugh, that's yeah. really annoying. Uh, Swift will kill it. Swift will kill the snow run, yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Quilava. Yeah. And Is this a Nuzlocke in fucking Coliseum? Ew, no. No, you can't do that. We're we're not we're not hardcore gamers. We're here to just like shoot the shit and show off a silly game from back in the day. I love Sfeel. No one yeah. remembers Rave Master. I super do. I remember three things about Rave Master. It's opening, uh, and even though they mentioned this in the opening, very distinct memories of the carrot nosed dog who is a little snowman. And um, I remember there was an X-Play review of the video game where the bit was that they made fun of it for being, like, a gross anime game where, like, the lead lady, somehow someone had taken, like, dirty pictures of her and they were, like, she needed to find them. Like, they were lost in, like, a tree sump or something. And it was like, the game spends all this time being gross. And then you don't even get to see the dirty pictures when you find them. A two out of five. <laughs> <laughs> X-Play was great. I wonder what Adam Sessler's doing now. Because he was Probably he was like a... Being the same, but like yeah. a little more out of touch, I'd imagine. He's got to be yeah. like 50-something now, right? Yeah, he's an old man. Boom, boom, boom. Someone in chat. I did a Coliseum Nuzlocke once, lol. It sucked. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. Coliseum Nuzlocke, why not just actually torture yourself? Yeah, why not just play the game normally? <laughs> this game is already a little challenging. You don't really need a Nuzlocke to amp it up. Fairy Tale and Rave Master had the same creator, and he likes references. Not only does he like references, he likes his entire cast being the exact same characters. Sure does. Uh, Aloha was telling me about the the other like sci-fi thing he's working on, and he's like, "Yeah, it's like the Zero. same cast again." <laughs> it's got Happy. It's got black-haired Natsu. It's got. That's, that's admittedly a little bit how I feel with um combatants will be dispatched which you guys should watch since it was a proto konosuba before konosuba got big and um it's just like here's your party and you've got this really strong witch lady but she's always asleep so she's never available in battle outside of one attack i'm like so this is just the explosion witch exactly it's the same gimmick <laughs> no This stuff Horses feel like are that cute. Sometimes yeah. it's just how it be. Horsey is cute. I always really like the horsey line. It's good. I really liked them until I worked my ass off to get a Kingdra because I was doing a, uh, I was calling it like a villain run where I traded myself a bunch of baby like what Team Rocket would use if they were cool Pokemon in Heart Gold Soul Silver. So I had like a Crobat and a Hound Hour and shit, and. I was like, the last one I want is a Kingdra. Um, and I worked my ass off to get it, and then it was my worst po Pokemon the entire run. Yeah. Well. A nice shiny Kingdra. Ooh. I know. Eat purple. Eat well. purple. Oh. <laughs> Got him in a Master Ball, which means the ball matches, which is always my favorite. It's honestly important. I want the ball to match. Yeah. If I can match. No, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Bo ets me. We can all joke about putting the same character in different stories, can't we, Jello Apocalypse? <laughs> <laughs> Shots fired. Sh shot busted, fellow adult. <laughs> shot received. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
I mean, like, I, I don't think it's the end of the world if you're like, you know what, this character slaps, I'm gonna bring him over here again. The I think whole the problem, cast is a little much. You know, that's the problem. It's like when it's the whole cast, and it's like, hmm. Listen, buddy. Was Listen. this was, was this strong enough to do again? No. If, if Mamoru Hosoda can do it, <laughs> why can't I? That's very different. But, <laughs> but Mamoru Hosoda actually did Mamoru Hosoda actually get away with it though? Summer oh, Wars was great. You know, uh, I, I, the I cast, don't. It's not the plot. I'm so, I'm it's so the bad. Same with... plot. It's the same. Um, <coughs> I'm so bad with names, but who's the guy who did um, ping pong the animation, the Tommy Galaxy? He just did something no, new no. too. Um, uh... Devil Man Cry Baby as well. Uh, oh, he he, um... yeah, he guessed it on that. He did not do it. <laughs> He was a director for like a Oh, okay. Yeah, um, no, in all his stuff, he has the exact same character designs, but they're in like vastly different roles. And the way he described it, I saw once he was like, I like to imagine my character designs are actors taking on different roles in different pieces of media, which is like that's really fun. interesting to me. Yeah, that's it's fun. Cool. I'm, I'm yeah. down for that. Oh yeah, someone in chat pointed out female bodybuilder. Yeah, you gotta love the equal opportunity giant people uh, yeah. tra trainer class. Do you think that's just because it was easier to like, it's like, God, it's a lot easier to model this woman if she's made of like eight polygons and looks like a brick. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. You know, necessity is is the, the mother of... Uh... Equality. <laughs> Equality, yeah. <laughs> What did he just hit you with? Uh, I did not pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have Shadow Ball now. That's good. Uh, that doesn't hit dark types. Cacnea is not a dark type. Oh, it gets Neither dark. Okay. That's okay. Don't die, Espeon. Oof. Oh, it was faint attack. Okay, makes sense. There he comes! Oh no! Oh, poor Espeon. Um, who still needs to lower their gauge? Let me see. You do. Oh, just you. That's good. Yes, Cacnea is a dark type. Is it? I really thought it wasn't until it evolved into Cacturn. It is super not. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. You liar, man. You know what? No, you wait. might be right. Looks it up. Fuck off, idiot! <laughs> okay, I don't want to talk to you anymore! <laughs> I like our different approaches to, to handling when, when, like, things are corrected. Because me, I'm, I'm like, huh, I thought it was that. Okay, well, good to know. <laughs> just like get out of here. I mean, because that one was Siggy or shit. Uh, Gam thought it was a dark type. I was like, no, it's definitely not a dark type. And someone in chat's like, uh, like two people were like, it, it's absolutely a dark type. I'm like, is it? And then it, and I was right, it's not. So I get to be like, ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Jesus. I didn't even fight it. I just trusted my friend Jello. <laughs> ding ding. I trusted my friend Jello. Never a good decision. <laughs> Jerry, my I brother. trusted Jello. I just. <laughs> oh, you you can't be doing that. You can't trust Jello. I know now. <laughs> Shoutouts to Seinfeld for mostly being reduced to the parody of its exact <laughs> stock conversation. <laughs> so NXT. Hi had Dark Lugia, what is this game's plot in a nutshell? Like, uh, there are shadow Pokemon go around and fight the organization that makes them. It's not any more than that. Yeah. Shadow Lugia is an evolution on this concept. They're like, how do we raise the stakes? Shadow Lugia. Doing anything. We got some recurring PCs. NPCs. Yeah, this... Silva was someone. 
Oh, Silva? these guys are recurring? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Silva was Civ, I think. What? Yeah, I think right. uh, is that me? He's not... No. No. Darling, aren't you one of Duking's people? What made you think that you could simply waltz in here? Such a silly boy. Immediately. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> Where's Mirror B? I'm taking him down. Take him down? After the beating you took? That's too funny. <laughs> you wait. I'm going to drive all of you out of this town. Ooh, such a feisty boy. Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage to make you settle down, like we did with Duking. What? We're here too. Wait, why are you Hi. just sitting there? Oh, we seem to be getting a lot of unexpected company today. But that's no excuse for being a bad host. Attacks immediately. It's me, BP on Wreath. <laughs> BP. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. she has that. Is it the Spinner Remoraid act? or the Spinnerack? I think it might be the Remoraid. That feels right. It's one of them. Uh. Okay. All right, well, let's rip that Spinnerack in half. Yes. I love Spinnerack. I do too. Dun, 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 Yo, it's dun, dun, 8 30. It's not even dark out. I'm living. Oh, well, good. Mm, nice hit, Sylveon. Oh, That's you not Sylveon. Return. Sylveon. <laughs> Sylveon. I'm an Espeon. Oh, well, they're both pink. <laughs> a love disc, huh? She's a good, she's a good Pokemon trainer. <laughs> <laughs> Lovedis and Remoraid, are you gonna be able to handle this? Does Lovedis evolve? No, no, no. Neat. Kind of Lovedis just exists that, to be Will. a tie-in for uh, a farmable heart scale, which was like a thing you could exchange for items in Gen Three. But like, also there are other ways to do that shit. They use heart scales for the move reminder, right? Yeah, back yeah. then. Which and like I. I probably would have just, if I were a game designer, had the move reminder take money and then not had love disc. If anything. I were a game designer, I would have, but the move reminder, you could just do it in a menu for free. That's how it is now. Is it? Yeah, in Sword Shield, it's free. Really? Yeah. Hey, Amy, can I start a new file in your Sword and Shield since you're never going to play it again? Maybe. I have to see what's okay. on it. Okay. Love Disc should have evolved into a Lola Mola. Yeah. Lola Mola. Hey, what is Love Disc's EV's friendship? Love. Disc. You mean his base stats? They're bad. <laughs> I wish oh, one of my stats were Disc. <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, oh fuck! Flaffy! I mean, that, that's fine, it's just a remoraid. Well, I like I like Octillery! Damn it! Oh, oh well. right, for some reason I thought I, I thought it evolved into Mantine for a second because no, it's it got remoraids underneath Mantine. it. Yeah, they're friends. Well, I think so we fight her again, so maybe I'll get it then. I don't remember doing that, to be honest. You I'm need look it up. to use Remoraid to evolve Mantike into Mantine. Yeah. yeah, you gotta have a Remoraid in your potty. Hang on, I'll look up Wreath in Pokemon Coliseum. Well, she has, uh, she maybe... has talky lines. So, dude, I'm, I'm looking her up. Oh, my... So you know if you find whatever. Um, my Pokemon couldn't muster a thing. You're no ordinary trainer. How did you defeat me in my neon yellow shirt. Were you hired by duking as his bodyguards? Let me warn you, if you mess with us, you better be prepared for the consequences. Should you I? fight her again, 
a long, long time from now, and it doesn't <laughs> look like she has the Remoraid. Oh, lame! Oh, oh. Ugh, a bomb. I love you, monkey. Be nice. Monkey weirds me out. Monkey like, does have a very good Guess face. what, Will? Oh, it's the Mantine. Cool <laughs> eye! <laughs> You can just catch this Mantine. I mean, Remoraid evolves into Mantine, so you're just skipping a step. <laughs> Jesus. Ma Mantine's mouth makes him always look like he's holding in a laugh for a prank. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> What's so funny, Mantine? <laughs> Nothing. Ambipom is lovely. No Ambipom in this game. Only a pom. Yeah, I, I like Ambipom. I don't know if lovely is the word I'd use for it. I think it's a little creepy looking, but I like the idea of it. Oh, I think Apom's a little creepy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't like Apom. <laughs> Apom, I think, looks less creepy in the new games, but he's oh. he's creepy in these old games. That Mantine can fucking That Mantine can get it. <laughs> no. Don't flinch. I'm gonna flinch. Oh, yes! Die, <coughs> monkey! Mind crush! <laughs> and I said, die, monkey, die, monkey, die, monkey, oh! Monkey key! Monkey key key monkey! <laughs> Another furret that's not a shadow Pokemon. What a waste. It's okay, we already have the shadow furret. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> there should be at least I five forgot. shadow furrets. I love furret so much, I didn't even know we had it. I Fur hate is a great furret. Pokemon. I love furret. I would never say I hate furret. I'm Jello, and I hate fluffy things and sheep and cute girls, which are all different things. <laughs> no! You're not me! <laughs> I'm Jello, and I hate lemonade. <laughs> I'm I'm kind of charmed, honestly, that it's like, what are the things Jello likes that I have to dunk on? It's like cute shit and lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Especially after I was like so caustic to the cacne of people. It's like, you fucking idiots! I like sheep and lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a fucking Animal Crossing character with two likes? <laughs> you know what? If I only had two likes as an Animal Crossing... Well, it might be weird if I were an Animal Crossing character no, who's no, like, don't worry I'm about really you. into you're sheep. Saying... I, fucking I was just going to say that wouldn't be that bad if I were... If those were my two likes and I could only pick two, but... If I'm an Animal Crossing character, I think being like, yeah, I really like sheep kind of takes on a weirder meaning in that universe. So are there any new sheep on our island? Just curious. Hello, this is Yukiko. <laughs> <laughs> Why would Great she vegetable. like that? Why would she like that? <laughs> Great vegetables. <laughs> Great vegetables. <laughs> Great vegetables. <laughs> Oh, Sonic Boom. How Sonic Boom is rough. Yeah. He's, he's young. Isn't Sonic Boom one of those moves that always does a set number of damage, though? Yes. It's like 20 or 40 or something. Good flinch. Nice <laughs> vegetable. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh... Uh... Dad got uh, a watermelon. You should call your friends over. Yeah, let me just call everyone I know over for a walk. Be like, hey guys, I got a watermelon. Luckily, they were all able to make it. Man, a watermelon! <laughs> <laughs> Man, a resurrection! Uh, I should have threw a ball. Oh well. Uh, you. Yanma's just a ripoff of Yanma Mon. Bad game. Yanma Mon. Does Yanma mean dragonfly or something? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. I'll never get over the fact that Chan Chansey's Japanese name is Lucky. Lucky. How about how about Umbreon's Japanese name? 
Yep. Isn't it blacky? It's blacky. It sure is. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. That's really good. All right, this and the Boreon is Shawazu. Shawazu. Oh, this <laughs> yeah, that's really cute. Sparky. I don't know what Flareon is. Bad. Let's see. Hey. Well, Flareon the, the is the only fire ball. type Pokemon. <laughs> only of all fire type Pokemon that cannot learn Solar Beam. Yeah, I'm working on a medley of all 17 Pokemon theme songs. Its name is Booster? <laughs> Booster. It's pretty cool. Whenever I think of Japanese Pokemon names, the only one I can ever remember off the top of my head is Charizard, which is Lizardon! Lizardon. <laughs> Lizardon. I love, uh, Garbodorus, which is Dasto Dasto. <laughs> my favorite, I think, localization of any of them is French Bulbasaur is Balbizarre. <laughs> <laughs> so... It's a play on the English name, but it also includes bizarre, which the Japanese so, name means bizarre. Oh, very it's clever. really good. So, I, we kind of skimmed past it, but did Firma say, "I can't believe it, unbelievable too"? Yeah, like, I think the she did. The number. Yeah, because I think Reef said unbelievable, and then she was like, you... "Unbelievable part two. <laughs> Do you? We shouldn't say part though. Do you? Genuine question with the localization of this game. Do you think that was the placeholder that they didn't come up with an alt for? Did they use maybe the yes. or spell the number? It was the number. It was the number. Placeholder. Placeholder. Reef, let's make ourselves scarce for the time being. Right, oh, Firma. Ultra Super Fire Dash! Well, also known as running. You'll never be able to prove if this was an intentional localization or a placeholder. Thank you. You saved me. Do you know. Do you people know duking? <clears throat> okay. I'm a fool. I didn't know what was happening at all. They've taken Duking's Pokemon hostage! How could they Duking something so do downright <laughs> dirty? <laughs> That's why we're here! We came to Rescue Plusle! Wes is looking I'm back and forth like, too. what the fuck? <laughs> uh, uh, wow, wow. <laughs> Not in your condition! You'll have to wait here! On this beautiful tetanus oil. Ho oh, We meet again, kitties! The only character I'm gonna try on! <laughs> Mirror B! You cowardly cheat! I can't fight you in there! <laughs> Get out of that glass box, Mirror B! <laughs> Come in from outside! I don't want to break the window! Cowardly cheat! That's so not true! Taking a hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tactic! You call that a tactic? Plusle, it better be okay! Oh, the darling couldn't be any safer if it tried. I'm sure it'll come to adore me before too much longer. You gotta be kidding! Where is it? Give it back! <laughs> no running or hiding for me. Come to the cave. That's where I'll be. Answer these riddles three. That's up to ye. I'll be waiting for you, my pretties. <laughs> The mirror turned green! Oh, it's getting awfully leaf outside! <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that many leaves before! <laughs> so we got another Ein file. Shadow Pokemon! A shadow Pokemon is a Pokemon that has been made into a fighting machine by artificially shutting the door to its heart. What we didn't know is that the shadow Pokémon exude a dark aura that can't normally be seen by the human eye. 
Unfortunately, a girl with the ability to see this dark aura has been discovered. This is a major problem! <laughs> the girl could become a huge obstacle for our Shadow Pokemon plan! A solution to this threat is urgently needed. Shadow Pokemon Lab Chief Ein! I wonder who that file's about. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, those books are apparently difficult. No, these are these are dancing books. They're different. Dope. Ah, I got creamed by the guy who was guarding the cave's entrance. Be careful when you go to the cave. The sentinel is top. Okay. Creamed. Yeah. Creamed, huh? Yeah, creamed. Meant creamed. something totally different back then. Straight up flambéed! Ooh, it got creamed! Cream of the grup! Oh, oh, okay, hyper potions. That's pretty good. <laughs> Not that bad, is one of my kid. favorite videos out there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> cream of the grup. He just keeps pulling out more creamers. The cream of the grup. The cream of the grup! <sighs> Every okay, time he to... breathes in. <laughs> Just a heads up, be careful if you ever re-enter a dungeon like this. Sometimes you can just randomly, will find yourself having to re-battle trainers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm gonna... Quag's player is pretty good. Yeah, sleep on the knocked owl. Uh, uh, well, you know what? Let's work on Quag's player. Why not? I was just gonna do them in the order they were caught, but uh, whatever. I think Makihita's done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the other two around because they're kind of good so oh i wanted to set that to multiply i'm stupid stupid do do birdie ding 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 no let's see will it let me go through this door or will it say it's locked no! uh-huh no that's Oof. what i thought you fucking motherfucker what do you need up there? I just need to go back to the top because we need to go to the pirate cave now. Oh. Uh, the entrance is at the top. Uh, mm -hmm. There are a lot of trainers <coughs> for this area. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to let him go. Like, so we I... outnumber him so we could just, like... So I, nope, yeah. can't do anything about it. I remember this guy. Oh, was he actually dangerous? No, I, I just remember what he has. <laughs> Hunter Dogen. Hey, it's dangerous at the top of this building. We should go back into the streets to there fight my quill What does he have, Yam? There it is, boys. The ultimate Classy. shadow Pokemon. <laughs> the ultimate shadow Pokemon that's about to be one shot by confusion. <laughs> That's a quillfish! It's evil! Yoshi! Uh, Yoshi! Do you think every time Rui sees a ghastly, she's like, that's a- Wait, hang on. <laughs> squints really hard at it. Sees a coughing, squints even harder. Go Flappy. Wee. Oh, you're going for Quillfish? Yeah! What kind of fucking question is that, Jello? Look how strong wow. it is! That's, that's a lot of damage for Quillfish. <laughs> Quillfish's original name was Killfish. <laughs> they thought it was too intense and nerfed the shit out of him. Now he's a joke. Yeah, this person in chat gets it. Quillfish. Quillfish. Oh, I knew. I don't. Why are you standing like that? I don't like that. I was about to say get down on all fours, but that's not a good thing to command. Man, Flaffy, you are just like taking hits. Yeah, Quillfish is so much better than you, Flaffy. All right, well, let's not go that far. <laughs> not Lie down. Pretty... All right, listen. <laughs> listen. And let's go to 
likes are. Do you have any friends? I'm listening. I'm Quagsire. Hey, man. I'm just quagging. He'll catch on. Cool catchphrase for everybody. Just walking down the street, swinging my arms from side to side like they're big, heavy sandbags. That's what I like to call quagging. <laughs> Get on the quag wagon. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, let me tell you about today's sponsor, NordVPN. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be an old hag. Start quag. <laughs> Alright, that, that we'll work on that one. <laughs> it's been brought to my attention that NordVPN does I'm not I'm angry. Work. <laughs> NordVPN has betrayed me. Oh, now you've unleashed the dragon. <laughs> For the last time. You're gonna Thanks, catch sir, the fuck down. All right, man, I'm sorry. I got out of line there. My mood was dragon. Haha. Uh -huh. Thanks for laughing. <laughs> Thanks for laughing with me and not at me. The last time someone laughed at me, I cried enough tears to fill a flagon. Did you drink it? No, it's gross. Useless. Why would you use Swift on one Pokemon? Because I'm trying to whittle it down. I don't want to kill it. I mean, you could have used any attack. And it never misses. And it never misses. And Espeon has accuracy to- Oh, water absorb! Ah, oh, yes. Good, this quacks uh, are so are... good. Yeah. Just gonna, I'm just going swift. Thanks for use, quenching just use my return. Food. No, it might die! <laughs> it might die! My Espeon loves it won't me! won't die. My Espeon you're, loves you're... me! Your return has been dealing half damage at best My for like the last six battles. <laughs> loves me. Also, you you just let it get knocked out, so that move is weaker than ever. Dun dun dun. Bum 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 bum. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing it. You can't stop me. It's gonna, Shadow Rush is Swift gonna crit and kill it. It's gonna be really funny. Why, why would you use Shadow Rush at all if you're going with this bizarre Swift strike? Look, I'm a genius! <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Man, yeah, you quaggin'. <laughs> no, quaggin's good. <laughs> nah, but Quillfish, my new friend, is still alive. Pretty quag. Me. Dude, that's pretty quag. Quag. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for this great ball to not catch it so it can kill itself with Shadow Rush. I'll encourage it not to. Quick, Wes, call my name so it knows I'm its friend. It can't hear me inside the ball. Get out of there, Quillfish. Quillfish, get out. Quillfish. Quillfish. No! Oh, thank goodness. My God, that was close. You know, if you had hands to quag with, you got I out of there too. Look, like it used poison got... sting. That's not very effective, man. <laughs> I was rooting mess. for you. Oh, what am I doing? Oh. Shit. That. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Hold on a minute, there, Quillfish. Wes is just rustling some balls around. <laughs> All right, here come the balls. <laughs> Great ball. <laughs> Quillfish, where'd you go? Ah! My friend is dead. <laughs> <laughs> the way that you said "great ball" was bordering on being an Agumon impression. Yeah, yeah. Great ball. <laughs> now. What? What are the chances that there's a heal thing in here? I'm pretty sure there's not, but you can check. Okay. 
Uh, to my recollection, there is like not a good healing spot anywhere in this dungeon until like right in front of Mirror B. <sighs> okay. Yay, Mirror B. I think halfway through there's like a PC. Really want you can like juggle your Pokemon through there to heal them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going for it? Yeah. Hey, girl, just hanging out in the middle of this mine shaft, performing. Oh, an Anorith. Oh, I wish that was a shadow Pokemon. Yeah. I love Armaldo. Armaldo's really cool. The slow tad is a a portent of things to come. I think you get a, a shadow Lily, actually, in either this game or the next one. So that's fun. You know what? Shadow Ball, fuck him up. Go get him. <laughs> who, who is this person with a level 32 low tad? Very committed, clearly. <laughs> I okay. So I think <laughs> I brought this up last time, but I gotta bring it up again. It, is there a reason you split your attacks between two Pokemon instead of killing one of them and preventing one of them from attacking you every turn? Nah. Now you know! I just do it. Alright. Alright. Am I losing? Leave me the fuck alone. I mean... <laughs> You did get knocked out a couple times. I got <laughs> I got one Pokemon knocked out today. Fuck off. You know, that, and oh, chat, this... chat, can you? I'm pretty sure at least two have gone down. Well, maybe two. Who cares? I didn't lose the battle. Man, all this yelling between friends, not very quag. <laughs> it's going to catch on. Just, you know, that... just got to oh. do it's, it enough. It's not even as much like a... A, like, a, oh god, you're not gonna win thing so much as it has a, it's a, it's a minor speed boost because you cut out an animation every turn. Oh, Jello, you're such a min maxer. I am, admittedly, when it comes to RPG battles. Oh, that did nothing, wow. Jello's secret is that he actually hates playing video games. Uh, I love the way Anorith, like, scurries back. Yeah, it's cute. I love Anorith. <laughs> Armaldo is my favorite fossil Pokemon. Wow. Yeah, it's because he's hardened a bunch. Oh. My favorite is Tyrantrum. That's a good pick. I like him. You know what I wish was a little more easy to use? Are those uh, ice rock, bro like, brontosaurus things? Mm. <laughs> my, yeah. my brain, when you were like, you know what I wish was easier to use? Ovens. <laughs> I was like, what? I got what? this hard, honey. What are you doing wrong? <laughs> I mean, I bought this easy bake oven. Let oh. me tell you, not as advertised. <laughs> it didn't is, bake at all. Is in fact just a, one of those trolley bright crawler maker things instead. <laughs> it's not even the right oven. Dun, 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 dun. What? Aurorus is, is also... very useful in Dynamax Adventures because it has thunder. Back up, girl. <laughs> back the fuck up. Right back up the stairs. Yeah, figure I should probably Bitch, clear this that guy was. first. Oh, yeah. So oh, this? shit. Mole stuck up. Three ethers. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, in a chat, easy bake oven, really? I find it quite difficult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, might as well dump funny. one of those onto Flaffy. I guess yeah. you might find a heal. Who knows? You got nine. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Let me go Flaffy. Normally, most of my money in this game goes to buying a hundred million Pokeballs, but uh. Yeah. Saving that money. Pokeballs in this economy? Yeah, Archaeops is cool in it's... theory, and then Defeatist. Chaser Maïs. It's a shadow Pokemon! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Ralt! Oh, he's so small! I love Ralts. Uh, oof, rough, uh, rough type matchups for you here, guy. Yup. Ralts is a little baby. 
He got a yeah. bowl cut, just like me. He got a big green red horn coming out of his forehead, just like just me. Like me. By coughing. Man, this guy's a lot of good Pokemon. Yeah. It's super effective. Oh no! I mean, not not good for fighting a Mistrevis and an Espeon, but... I think it, it's poison right now. Yes. No. Yes? I think, grass poison? I think it is. It might just be grass, actually. Oh, no, it's just grass. Yeah, it's just grass. Yeah, and then it gains fighting. Okay. So what do you think was the decision this guy made when he woke up and was like, got my purple jumpsuit and this uh, highlighter green scarf? Uh, looking good. I guess that was his thought, yeah. I don't know. I thought he looked pretty nice. What's up, Seth? He but was my sleeping eyes on are... the table. That's really cool. Why not you... allowed. Yeah, why were you sleeping on the table, actually? Because the placemats were left there and he was using them as a bed. Yeah. I thought Amy was asking Siv why she was sleeping on the counter. <laughs> no. I was like, Same. why are you allowing this? <laughs> I think actually you want to go up first. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go up. Uh, okay. Where I think the there's like one guy we? in a treasure chest up here. Let's see. Hello. <clears throat> Roadblock! <laughs> hey, Chaser Rehan. Rahan. Oh, it's the dude of the Geo variety. <laughs> no question about it, man. You are the dude of doodles. Guys, I'm freaking the fuck out here. Is that a low pad? <laughs> when does it blink? <laughs> I Whoa. challenge, I challenge you to a non-blinking contest. What staring? That's what it is. Stairs? Ain't that the bitches you use to get up to the second floor? Or down to the first? Oh, sorry, man. I got distracted. Anyway. <laughs> Oh shit, that rock dude is out. <laughs> you okay, Just me in this low tad. I was able to see him get out because I have not blunk. <laughs> oh, but he's. Oh, he blanked! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yo, Umbreon. Hit that low tad so it blunks again. All right, good try, but you missed. <laughs> you got his weird little teepee. I don't want to deal with <laughs> icy wind. It's going to make me slow. What? Wow. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm going to chill for a minute. Nah, nah JK. <laughs> but, but not the rolling variety. That's a bad person. Whoa, man. No need to growl. Are you guys just gonna lower our stats and not attack us? I feel kinda bad just punch you in the nose. Yeah. Maybe I should use amnesia to forget that I feel bad so I can attack you again. Block. Block. 
Okay, now you're just trapped in here with me. <laughs> See you later, TP. I wish we got a snow rent. I love snow rent. And I love Oh Lily. shit, this guy's vibes. I like <laughs> it. <laughs> Can you please stop growling? It's not even doing Yo, man, <laughs> that is enough. <laughs> You're right, man. I got way out of line there for a second. Good, good bite. Luckily, it's still a low tad. <laughs> so. Oh. Man, I am. Um... You can just call Pokemon to wake them up in this game. Yep. Oh, man. I'm, uh. I don't know. Here, just forget Maybe about it, dude. All right. Man, Motad fell asleep. Forget okay, about man, it, dude. Me, me too. <clears throat> what were we doing? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! What's up? <laughs> we, we still, still flying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit, man! You trying to fly? Oh man, you flinched. I'm glad this slack off came out yeah, here so we could it. beat the shit out of it. Man, this fight was just Umbreon walking up and lazily biting immobile <laughs> enemy Pokemon until they die. <laughs> yep. Urk crashed out. That's a line of dialogue. Crashed out. Crashed out. Can you go up from there? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's the. Oh, there's an, there's more gentlemen. More gentlemen. I think I. There you are. Bandana it's Noxy. I love Bandana guy. Oh God. Oh this. It's a fake one. <laughs> oh, too low tad. We are too low tads. We have been friends for weeks. <laughs> we are both low tad. I can't do we are both ventriloquists with that few. <laughs> Would you like to hire two low tads? We are strong. We will do what you need. All right, see you later, man. We are one low tad. Can someone help me bury my friend? <laughs> no. <laughs> Another! Dad. I'd love to help bury him. <laughs> Alright, well, before this corpse starts smelling, let me up uh, spray some shit on it. Evasiveness fell. Oh, shit, man. This game has a bad habit of making the first, like, non-Shadow Rush ability your Pokemon has the one you want it to get the least out yeah. of its moves, like, Amnesia. Yeah. Ow. What's your goddamn problem? I am <clears throat> Angie. Fucking Angie, I am bro. upsetty spaghetti. <laughs> the spaghetti has been lukewarmed? I don't know. How do you defeat spaghetti? I guess you slurp it. How do you guys eat spaghetti? I, I just quag it. <laughs> this kid is getting out of hand. Oh, what a quag? <laughs> <laughs> Angie is not very quag. <laughs> Someone in chat. Well said, chat. I like to think that Umbreon is just like. <laughs> the quiet, angry type just keeps looking over at Umbreon, or the Quagmire keeps trying to start conversations <laughs> like, bro, I'm just trying to do my job. Quagmire! Yo, man, why don't you ever respond to me? I like, 
I like to imagine Umbreon is very professional because Umbreon's like the one who helped with terrorism earlier. And Umbreon like keeps kind of like side-eyeing the Quagsire whenever it says shit and then looks back to Wes like, dude, you have other Pokemon, right? <laughs> I don't even know if this guy's attacked. He just keeps like saying shit and then getting mad. <laughs> Oh, it lived. Come on. That's not very quack money of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brandon's just well, like, where's, where's Espeon? Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Water sport. That's a move. God, if only we had Swift, then we could take them both out at once. Good job. I'll be the other half of this swift chain, unless I happen to get a little angry. <laughs> Another one! <laughs> you know what? I have had enough of these low tags. I decide to do nothing. I do nothing and end my turn. At least you smell nice. <laughs> I smell so good. Red roses too. Red Rover, Red Rover, send low tad right over. That's my quag strategy, so we get all of them at once. Bye, low tad. I wonder who's gonna come out next. Oh man, congratulations! Umbreon is fucking oh. pissed. You know, it's pretty hard to astonish Umbreon. He is a professional. Oh, I just noticed Quagsire is a lady. Oh. Good for her. Yeah. Quagsire, <laughs> please! Help me! I am infuriated! You just <laughs> noticed I am a lady? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's alright, man. <laughs> It's hard, I mean, I mean like... Oh, oh, Brian gets a critical hit, end this fucking fight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. For my next Pokemon, Umbreon glares, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. You mean ravaged? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I like to think that, like, <laughs> they keep mixing up words, so it's like, instead of, <gasps> oh, that was brutal, it's like, oh, that was oh, brutal! Oh. Ultra Balls! Yes! Ultra Balls. That's very helpful. Oh, that's so good! That's not how you spell quag. Those should be quag balls. <laughs> oh, man, I can't wait until we pick up some quag quags. Umbreon bashing their head against their Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me next to him in the belt. Don't put me next to him. Hey, buddy. The Quags are fighting! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's a Quagon. <laughs> Hey, buddy! Out for round two. Another day, another Poke Dollar. <laughs> it's like someone says, crazy that they give you infinite Ultra Balls so early in the game. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, um. Just take the shit out of the bag on until it's gone. Pretty Break rude of like them to be like, like, oh, there's a shadow Pokemon here. It's the Metatite and not the bag on. That's okay, I actually what? like Metacham, though. Umbreon, oh, oh thank right. god. Whee! <laughs> Marissa, are you the Flaffy? Jesus! Flaffy only says way. That's why Umbreon likes her. <laughs> like, this is good. Yeah, this she is comes good. out, she says way, she does her job. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I can finally focus. Uh, I can unleash my secret power! <laughs> I call this attack formation Kurds and Wang. 
Kurds and Oh, a Numa. Hey. Oh, look at that Numa. Whoa, a Numa. Did Would've you know? Been nice to have some times four of, of water effectiveness. Hey, man, Flaffy, tag out. You say that, Quagsire, but you don't know any water moves. What? I used amnesia to forget them all. Did you know? Numal backwards is lemon. It's not. It is. <laughs> lemon. I mean, lemon. It is. Lemon. <laughs> Did you know that Numo backwards is Megan's meat? <laughs> now that's wrong, but I appreciate you. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Fucking Ash started yelling at himself, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the other guy. <laughs> that's that's the funniest joke in the Path of Radiance playthrough. <laughs> Numo just has ah. a broke when you hit him. Did you know that Quag backwards is guac? I'm feeling something for lunch. It's guac. Just guac. Just a big old bowl of guac. <laughs> Quag backwards is not guac. It's gawk. Like gaku. <laughs> gaku. It's Goku! Gaku. Gaku. <laughs> Right. Jesus! Em Ember actually has a pretty cool looking animation. Yeah. Oh, oh please. Oh. Uh oh, it it's okay. Oh, not on the <laughs> oh. Oh. Dang. Oh, poor Umbreon. Oh no! I gotta avenge my best buddy. Here yeah. I go. Yeah, man. Don't, don't <laughs> worry. I'll stay by your bedside until you... F Actually, I'm going to fight in war. All right. <laughs> okay. Man, my best friend died. That's a real quag. <laughs> very unquag. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this. That was very unquag of you, Meditite. One of my favorite things that came out of the U.S. <laughs> election this year was just, um... I think it was Florida uh, voted red at the end, or no, fuck, which one? No, Florida was one of them. I saw this a couple times, but it was uh, someone did like a Bugs Bunny image of just like, yeah, that was very uncool of you, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> that and then uh, they had another one for, I think it was Fort Worth, because actually all of the Texas cities voted blue, <laughs> except Fort Worth at first. There was a like a moment in time where Texas was blue on the map and someone just screenshotted it and was like, shiny Texas. <laughs> <laughs> that's very funny, but it's doubly funny because that's Marissa's contribution. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only allowed to speak on the Pokemon streams if it's related to shiny Pokemon. <laughs> I am a shiny hunter, have I told you guys yet? Marissa says adjusting glasses. Um, I wouldn't hear. I would. I would wait because maybe you're close to a thingy. Because I know there is one in this dungeon. That is so rude know how... to Umbreon, though. No, Just, it's like, good. Like walk like eight feet forward and see if it's a new room. Also, just a heads up, yeah, I'm 45 minutes until the festival. Yeah, I think it's down those stairs, actually, okay. if it's in, like, a watery area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or I guess it's, like, the opening ceremony. Yeah, it's off to the left, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, I think there's a trainer in the way, though. <clears throat> yes. Oh, it's water. I thought it was a crowd. <laughs> yeah, I'm Sosh. Isn't Dunsparce what? down here? Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sash, is that like short for Sasha? Nope. It's short for Joshosh. <laughs> it's short for Sashua. Sashua. No, it's short for Sash.0. <laughs> wow, there's a throwback. <laughs> Mostly looking Classic at like, Civ. 
Now you know. Oh, look, slam! Slam! I'm gonna slam him. Who the, who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this person with a level 34 Marie? Oh. Oh, that's so sad. I got tired. <clears throat> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> I'm stronger now. Hey, chat, hey. what time did you Cacnea? Cacnea looks like they're voiced by Danny DeVito. <laughs> The slam! Oh my god, Dunsparce. He takes so much. Oh, that slam had recoil. No. Nope. Ba you body think slam? You think of takedown. Oh, takedown. Yeah. Uh, get out here, Flappy. Wee! 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 Baby Mario crying. Wah, wah. Oh, ooh. That's unfortunate. Yes! <laughs> yes! All right, Flappy, you can you can leave. Get out of here, Turns Flappy! <laughs> uh, actually, no, Flappy. Flappy can stay in. Um. Do a do a thunder shock. What's cotton spore do? Is that like a speed lowering thing? God, that was yes. critical. Yeah, it's fucking thunder shock. Stop it! Get out of here! There you go. What's <laughs> Espeon's dynamic? I think Espeon's also a professional. They're just like... I think they're like... A little less of a hard ass. They're they're probably... Because they, they were the getaway car and didn't want to be a part of directly terrorism. They're... I think they're more nervous, but very pleasant. Espeon's just not, like, not cool with this, actually, but doesn't know how to bring it up. Just like, oh, hey, guys, you're gonna blow up the building? Okay. Yeah, no, I'll, uh, oh, cool, like, right. you want me to come cool. with you? No, uh, I, I mean, someone's gotta be on our giant fucking, uh, engine that's destroying the environment, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'll be on here. I'm Brad is not, actually, it's a good idea. We're gonna need a getaway driver. No, no, I, I, I didn't say that. I, oh, oh I don't wanna be party to this. No, no. <laughs> oh, Sash doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Espeon's been trying to get a word in Edgewise for the past 15 years. <laughs> 15, Wes is Wes started terrorism at the age of one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Oh, look, there you go. Yeah, but also save while you're here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um... Baby terrorism's breaking out of the crib. I mean, I think, I think if they put you in a crib, there must have been a reason, right? They wouldn't have just put you in a crib. The best part oh, is at this cool. point they would have both been Eevees. Oh. <laughs> just a baby you, with you two can't, Eevees. You can't get to those until you get to the under. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah. I think Mirror B is just up that way. Should we explore some more? Yeah, yeah. You should explore some more. I know we're on a timer, but. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> the mirror B fight is pretty long. Yeah, especially if you're not leveled. You know what I hate? Baby murderers. Like people like people that murder babies or babies that are murderers. Baby murderers. God, All right, well that You know, you're repeating it. I learned, I, I get it now. I know exactly what you mean. All right, here we go, here we go. Uh, okay, I mean, this guy's a criminal, so there's no there's no reason not to beat up a criminal. Uh, we could maybe call the police, but they, 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 there's no police in this town. Because why would there be? <laughs> you okay, man? <laughs> 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 
I like to think that Espeon always has like a floating cup of coffee near them that's just shaking and when they need a sip, they just float it by to get it. <laughs> See, that's that's why Espeon's, it's like, Espeon's got like Psyduck style energy where it's so stressed <laughs> it uses its psychic powers. It's fine, you know? I, I mean, I've got, I've got my backup. Man, I'm so angry all the time. I'm never gonna attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I, I sort of respect that, because uh, I, I don't really want to fight either. I appreciate being a pacifist, but, I mean, being out here alone is freaking me out a little, man. <laughs> okay, there we go. I, 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 I knocked him out. I'll finish him. Oh, oh, cool. All right. You know, I love Swift. It's a great move because it never misses. You can rely on Swift. Swift never wakes you up at three in the morning and tells you that you need to put on a stocking over your face and rob a convenience store. Swift wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, man, because it's stars. <laughs> yeah, you, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Umbreon not like you? Umbreon doesn't like me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm entering hyper mode again. <laughs> oh so my god, Quagsire used an attack. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so it's a big old goose egg game. <laughs> Look at that double knockout. Yeah, I don't like to unleash my full power. I'm too strong. I prefer to just be angry and quiet. Okay. All right, man, that's cool. I can like kind of understand that a little, man. Okay. Okay, well, just, just. Oh, a wow, heal. a full heal. Wow. Okay, that's good. Um. That will be useful in our combat tactics. Yeah, man. Uh huh. <laughs> and, like. I like, like, Espeon is very openly terrified, but Umbreon's just like, Espeon is my best friend. I wouldn't go anywhere without him. <laughs> oh, remember. no. Did we go I think you've been this way. Y yeah, I know, but... This is where you came from. It is where I came from, but, like... Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Well, that was Have you Back ever up. become a terrorist's closest confidant despite not wanting to be there? <laughs> You know, I just don't really want to disappoint Umbreon because we have been through a lot, but like, you know... I've killed 15 people. <laughs> you shouldn't just say that! I mean, <laughs> I know that, and you you certainly know that, and the number keeps going up! You really shouldn't tell people who we can't trust, or maybe, maybe, idea, maybe you shouldn't kill people at all. You're right, torture is a better way to get more information. That's not what I said. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks again for the idea, Espeon. You always are full of them. <laughs> Like you know, I'll be sure to credit thing. you on. I'll be sure to credit you on terrorism.com. There's <laughs> 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 a website for that. Do they? Okay. Uh, do they not track our IP addresses? Mm -hmm. I think there's a little more before B, but B. Yeah, but oh, you're gonna, bringing them both. Out. Yeah, I'm bringing them both <laughs> because because. I'm just assuming B is. I'm just assuming B is next, and also the shadow Pokemon are mostly healed. I feel really bad for Espeon. <laughs> oh, well, there is more. Oh, just a little. Play. Oh, a little boy. If that's the case, um, dynamic duo. All right, I'm gonna. Hey, man, Boots and Miss Buddies together again. <laughs> It's Evat. What? You know, the... backwards, Evat is Tave, <laughs> which is short for Tavid. <laughs> Tavid. Oh. Look at this guy, actually, has a lombre. You know, I didn't remember this much, like, slow build up to the Meyer B fight in terms of what Pokemon his underlings have. I can't believe also, everyone just has tits. If. Oh. If, if there is a significant amount more before B, I would actually go back down and swap in Noctowl with the possibility of maybe grabbing Fly from it so we have a super effective move. Yes. Good idea. 
Especially since Quagsire's Man. done now. He he went into hyper mode so many times. Yeah, he sure fucking did. Yeah, buddy. I love watching you work. It always calms me down. Yeah. Mm. I like to imagine Umbreon has like a gun strapped to it, but it still just bites people. <laughs> The gun is for intimidation. I'm angry. <laughs> Quagsire, my dude. I would, yeah, I would just, I would just have it shadow rush because at this point, fuck it. Yeah. I'm just so goddamn mad. Yeah. Ooh. Is this last pizza for pizza? How many pieces are there? You want it? I do want it. Okay. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, here I go. Quagging it. Oh god. You got quagged. <laughs> <laughs> I god, understand. Look god, I, I look understand. Out. Go ahead. I was just reading in the chat. Someone said, gotta look out for Gunbrion. <laughs> <laughs> I understand now. He seems like a fool, but his true power is only unleashed when he is angry. He's a killing machine. Man, do I Espeon. even know <laughs> Espeon, we found another reliable member of Terrorism Company. Are we are we married to that name? Because <laughs> I was thinking like, uh, you know, <laughs> Radiant Dawn, like a new tomorrow. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just think we should maybe you know, workshop a little more. Just I. I was really, like, when we set out and we picked an LLC and we actually went down, got a lawyer and everything, I really thought we were going to, like, open up a and b chain or something. Something relaxing, you know? Maybe the two of us could, like, retire from all this terror the terrorism stuff. Yes, b and b bullets and bombs, my favorite things. I'm you really... always know what I like. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I was I was already pleased to get the LLC just because of lots and lots of corpses. <laughs> That's you know. not what it stands for. I hope. Hmm? We said nah. we would. We, we said we would buy that nice place in Vermont. We were gonna turn. We were gonna turn around. We were gonna flip it, and then we were gonna turn into a nice B and B. And then when people come up there to go skiing in the winter, that it, it would be a really good place. A great place for hiding bodies. <gasps> Swablu! Oh, get it! Get it! Get it! Get Swablu! it! Get it! Swablu! Yeah! I don't know why. I, Swablu's just looking around like I don't know why everyone got really excited suddenly. But all right, let's rumble. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I love it. Hi, I'm Swablu. Hi. Oh my god, are you guys are, are you guys the terrorists? I follow you on Twitter. We are not the terror. We are the terrorists. Yay! <laughs> I'll sign your friend's body with my teeth. Oh my gosh, I, I remember seeing the video, the snuff one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Here, can I glomp you? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> Swab Blues is a hundred percent on board. Oh my god, terrorism? <laughs> no way. The Swab Blue unironically retweets one slur. I just think he's hot. I can I say that? He's kinda hot. Embarrassing? Kinda hot. And I don't wanna be I don't wanna be that swab blue, but kinda thick. <laughs> he's hot! <laughs> <laughs> I, he's, all right, of all things, I have to, the one slur is a twig. He has no ass. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, you safeguard. I wish uh. I was here. I could leave, but. No, don't leave. <laughs> this is horrid. Don't yell. Umbreon just That's shakily brain coffee. Than I expected. <laughs> you just use that. I just, I'm sorry. I'm so flustered. I'm such a fan. Jesus Christ! clipping through a wall. <laughs> Gmod like smashing an object against a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Skyrim sound effects. <laughs>
buddy, are you... Are you alright? Oh, no, no! Oh, 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 oh. oh, Brian, do not kill this one! I'm just oh. testing their ability. You um, Brian bit me. I'm never washing this wing again. You yes, should wash please. it. You should... You're bleeding a lot. I think you should disinfect that. No. Don't disinfect it. Just put sutures in immediately. That's the terrorist's way. We are not doctors. <laughs> Yeah, I know, because you're terrorists! In fact, we <laughs> frequently attack members of Doctors Without Borders. We need to stop! <laughs> <laughs> Why do we do that? You still have not explained that part of the plan! Oh, it's just fun. <laughs> I'm just scared of needles, okay? Listen, it's like I like skipping stones. Listen, I like to put fun in funeral. I was actually thinking about making that the tagline of terrorism.com. What do you think? <laughs> terrorism. <laughs> oh my god, I can join! <laughs> I'm a lombre. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is going on out here, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm better. <laughs> I love him just losing his fucking shit if anyone bumps into him. <laughs> if you. Funeral is one of my favorite words because it almost contains both fun and feral. Oh my god, that's super smart. You are so smart. I want to protect you, but like, because I, I, I don't want you to think what we do is right, but also keep your hands off my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have hands. They are just clouds. I can't pick up a spoon. Whoa. I am starving. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're simping for Umbria? <laughs> <laughs> How did you know my name? Yeah, the best part is uh, uh, reusing brings it up. While all this goes down, Wes not understanding Pokemon speech is just like, I love my cute doggos. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what, do you, what do you got, buddy? Oh my gosh, three foot two and a terrorist. Oh my gosh. Three foot two? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's for Umbreon. Yeah, Umbreon. <laughs> That's an interesting team. Oh, Shuppet. Shuppet's got a pretty good looking model. Shuppet. I like Shuppet. All right, Noctowl. Show me what you can do. Who? <laughs> you. Who? <laughs> yeah. Who? <laughs> oh, he's dead now. I don't feel so good. Aww. I'm stronger. Hard. <laughs> well. I fucking hate that guy. Knocked out was really fucking intense. Yeah. I was scared of it when it I was a kid. Reasonable. Knocked out. <laughs> Knockdown is like a little too intense and quiet even for Umbreon. Umbreon's just like, all right, let's see what you can do, rookie. Yeah, good. I, I like your attitude. <laughs> kind of freaking me. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh. He, he killed that guy. <laughs> <laughs> You've killed 15! <laughs> yeah, but like, he, he was staring him dead in the eyes the whole way down, watching it fade out. Yikes. Knocked old as over his shoulder. Who's next? <laughs> how uh, many <laughs> Mr. Owl, how many kicks does it take to get to the center of a pineco? Let's find out. One. <laughs> it's like it's a boot. I'm confused. Are you going to kill me? <laughs> Bro, what is happening? I'm just a little pineco. Short and stout. 
Just a little pine cone. <laughs> Someone in chat, how many kicks does a kid take to get to the center of a pineco? One crunch! <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just a little pine cone, sir. Is it using bide? Yeah. No, not anymore, it's not. My secret technique. Poke. You, would, you wouldn't kill me on my birthday, would you? Oh, <laughs> just yeah. A little guy. Just, just a little panko. This thing is surprisingly tanky. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I guess it's gotta have something going for it. I mean, it does evolve into Fortress, so. Ugh, this pineco is pretty tough. Who? The pineco, right there. Who? <laughs> Callisto, you. <laughs> <laughs> I wa I wasn't there. Man, I love that. Like putting Will and I in a room together with a, a dumb bit is just a guaranteed way to make us take it too far. <laughs> <laughs> How to boil water. Put Will and Jello in a room together. Now put Siv in the corner. <laughs> and, put, and balance a pot of water on Siv's head. <laughs> I like to think that Rui can actually hear Pokemon 2 and just like is refusing to believe this is actually happening. She, all Pokemon are like this and she's not aware other people can't tell. <laughs> Did you go up from there? No, I didn't go up yet. Uh... <coughs> oh, is this a different area, actually? I think this is a different area than the other wet area. It is. It's, it's hard it's, to remember. It's above. Um, I'm trying to... Let's go this way. God, it's kind of wild how many dudes there are in these dungeons. Yeah, I know, right? I think that Natu can be stolen. <laughs> Natu also scared me when I was a kid. Natu scared you? Yeah, Natu like and Zatu. They're, they're just something something about them felt like, ugh. One of the best small moments in the Pokemon franchise is in the uh, Latios and Latias movie. Before the race starts at the start of the movie, they're like, three, two, one, Pokemon countdown. Beep, 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 boo, is three not to on top of each uh, like stacked on top of each other stacked on top of a Zatu and it's just like beep 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 Zatu <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. <laughs> Someone in chat You hearing this shit Wes? Wes who's a good pupper? <laughs> <laughs> Scratching Noctowl <laughs> This is a good dog I like this dog. He can stand up all of the time. Oh. Knocked out while his rage incarnate. Did that do damage? No. It's fine. Kill the jellyfish. Kill Jester. Acid, huh? No, 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 no! God, Will, do you remember Jokez? Oh my yeah. god, Jokez was so scary! <laughs> Someone in the chat says, Wes seeing any Pokemon. Whoa, get a load of that dog! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's literally what when Jay and I guest starred in Pokemon Utopus, that's literally the bit our group was doing. Every time there was a legendary Pokemon, we were trying to like not engage with it or act impressed. We are just like, look, a dog! There is a dog on that island! And we need to say hello to the dog! And then when we guest starred again in a Pokemon battle and everyone sent out their legendaries, ugly dog you have there! <laughs> <laughs> There goes Teddy or so. Yep. Where's that Pokemon? Probably six feet under. No. Oh my god, no. Okay, I'll just, I'll just, <clears throat> just walk behind her. Uh, yeah. 
Don't you dare! Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Haha! <laughs> Juked? <laughs> I guess we were juked. Anyway. She probably she probably has a shadow Pokemon. Yeah, probably. Oh, and she has a different battle theme. Yeah, because she's a Cypher member. A Sveal! Oh, do you have the Leap? She does not, says someone. Oh. Well, lame. Freaking lame. Um, we got hypnosis. Oh, right. It gets hypnosis first. That's nice. Hey, wait. The implication of certain Pokemon being called a dog or fish or mouse implies they know what those are divorced from Pokemon. Wes calls all Pokemon by their real life animal names and doesn't realize they're special creatures. <laughs> I just, assume, <clears throat> I just assume it's like a scientific genus. You've just got the mouse Pokemon is just its scientific name. It's a Pikachu. There's a Pikachu. There's a Pikachu. You imagine you're the intellectual and you're like, <clears throat> actually, its scientific name is mouse Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then everyone looks at you and goes, what the fuck is a mouse? You wouldn't understand. That's the thing about the Pokemon universe, is they're like, well, this is obviously the uh, the wolf Pokemon. But, like, do wolves exist simultaneously in this universe? Like, regular-ass no, animals? Just, that's just their scientific name. <clears throat> I guess. They don't have Latin. They just have... They have English. <laughs> they have English. Yeah, don't you know English yeah, they... is a long-lost wow. language? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Jesus Christ, the <laughs> leaf. <laughs> really tanking it, Noctowl. Bum, 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 bum. Keep biting. Keep oh. biting the good bite. We it want up. bite. We want commit crimes tonight. <laughs> we want red drops on the floor. Oh, he wilt for a moment. Squirrel's got a pretty interesting team, actually. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh... Keep biting. If you guys were limited, like, if you were in this world and limited to the first three gens, what would some shit that would, like, definitely be on your team be? Sunkern! <laughs> Um, First three. Uh. Radicate! <laughs> oh, cool, Quagsire! Alright. Um, Quagsire's so bad! <laughs> I, I, I definitely have like a Jolteon. I really like Jolteon. Um, probably a Laron. Not an Agron. I like Laron more for some reason. Agron's pretty cool, though. Agron is really dope, but for some reason, I, I just like Laron's design a little more. You I have no idea why. You still know Tackle? Tackle Dust Tox? Come on. The Dust Tox. Here's the bright answer. Get a Meowth, teach it Payday, now you're set for the rest of your life. Yeah. <clears throat> You you right. I want a sun kern so I can get a sun flora and never suffer from seasonal depression. Don't make fun of people yeah. for picking Salamence, Jello. Salamence is cool. Ugh. Salamence <laughs> is cool. Well, where are you gonna keep it? 
In my backyard. In my cupboard. Amy, that's, we don't have a backyard. We have a side yard that abuse. could maybe fit one. Look, there's, there's like every generation. There's that one. There's like the Charizard, where it's like, what's like the first, like, oh, that's cool, and I'm, I don't know. It's, it's the Ocarina of Time of Pokemon. <laughs> People, Sick of it. people are You're allowed, not allowed to like Salamence and Charizard. I'm You're not allowed to own a Salamence unless you have at least three acres of land. <clears throat> I'm just putting that out there. That's <laughs> yeah. like an exotic pet. I I would I probably wouldn't mind a shroomish. I don't Those think anyone would mind cute. a shroomish. I Honest, like them. Honestly, I, I want I want a Metagross. Uh huh. Metagross are fucking <clears throat> awesome. It's pretty cool. Metagross is so smart, though. It could oh. totally kill you in your sleep. Yeah, but it would love me. It... Oh, it doesn't need to be smart to kill us in our sleep. <laughs> That's true. You guys do that all the time. And we're not smart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go heal. No, I'm no, going to have some weird go shit for the coloring on this. I kind of dig it. I'm just going to put the streets out. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go. What's over here? There's one. A lady. I know there's a lady, but what else? What a, what exists in this I... world aside from lady? This is maybe the only good design. <laughs> Look at that right. zigzag! Like Yay! <laughs> I like, this lady's like, yeah, I'm just training here. I want to win at the Coliseum one day. And I love that because it kind of implies she has no idea what anyone else is doing in this cave. And it's just like, man, popular training spot. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that for her. Anyway, here's oh, my make... two things of goons. Uh, I'll be right back. Um, this is Zig and Zag. Bye, Will. Uh... They're so mad. That was a really cute wiggle effect. Did you see that? Yeah, I wasn't looking now. Wiggle, wiggle, look at the wiggle! Wiggle! Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. When I was a kid, I always felt really bad for Eradicate because Ash traded for him, and then the first time he sent him out, he was like, fuck this thing, I'm sad. Can you imagine being that Eradicate? That would be pretty rough. Yeah, um... Raticate deserves better. When does Shadow Pokemon become pure? You have to bring them to a spot in the second area of the game. Yeah. So, which is stupid. Yeah. Um... Yeah, not a surprise, but if I had to pick Pokemon, obviously, probably a Flaffy, I think. Um, Whee! and... A, like, of those, of the obvious three, which sheep are you picking? Um, I, I love, I love Suavlu and Altaria, and then, uh, Furret. I don't know. I just, I have so much distaste for, like, the, if you could have any Pokemon, what would you pick? I pick the biggest, dumbest, legendariest dragon that's a, the size of a building. It's like, oh yeah, what are you gonna do with it? Like, how do you live with that Pokemon? How do you have fun with that? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's just such a boring answer where, like, when that question is posed, you can do like, I don't know, I'd have a ditto and I would like use it to like, like Marissa's answer is at least like, I'd have a Meowth and use it to make money. Like there's a, there's like, like a thought there and you can utilize the Pokemon to be like, I like these. Cause I think it'd be fun to like, like, you know, sleep next to a ferret cause they're giant and they're just fucking five foot long pillows or whatever. I feel like there's a lot of depth to that question. And like yeah, but... Salamance Charizard is the the most base level answer. Well, you also limited people to the first three gens. I know like most of the Pokemon oh, I like from the first three gens are just like big fuck off cool Pokemon. But if it were all gens, I'd be like, um, give me a fucking uh, Darumaka. I love that thing. Please, I want to sleep with it as a pillow. And yeah, first hugs. three gens isn't that limiting. That's like 360 Pokemon. That's sure, but all the ones that I like are big fuck off cool Pokemon. 
And it's also, it's never like, like I want to ride on, you know? Like ride on is a big, hard, high level Pokemon. It's just always the ones they put on box art and shit. I prefer Rhyhorn over Rhydon. Rhyhorn's really cute. Rhyhorn's pretty cute. Oh. Oh! What's in here? An iron. Oh, oh! Okay. And a protein. And a carbus. That's pretty good. And a zinc. Uh, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's no mimic chests in this game. Sorry. No. Okay. I think we can go fight Mary B now. Woo! Do you have enough time? Oh. Uh maybe we're gonna find out yeah like Aaron's a good pick oh Kangaskhan is really interesting okay I, I forgot know, I about like... I forgot about Iran I love Iran I think it really depends on where you would foresee yourself living or what job you'd foresee yourself doing what what job or living space would make a salamance acceptable if you um, were a park ranger. Yeah. Yeah. Park ranger. Something where you'd have to travel or survey large areas a lot. And you would need a big house with a big backyard. A postman. Aw. Yeah, that's cute. Salomon's postman. Okay. I'm just I'm just gonna bring Someone in the chat brings up a good point, like, also, you have to think real world or Pokemon world. Because if you're living in the Pokemon world, you could raise a Charizard to be flying taxi Charizard. That's a job. That's true. That's a reason to have a Charizard. It's a lot more flexible if you live in Pokemon world. That's true. Are, are Pokedex entries canonical in that case? No. <laughs> Because okay. then nobody would have like, like one, weren't you? No then you can't own a, Macargo. You can't own Macargo. Yeah, nobody would have Macargo. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. I think we can just go. Let's just go. I'm going. I'm pretty sure there's nobody else. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> it's time. It's time. I hope you didn't bring a dirty salamance in here. Yeah! Woo! It's about time, darlings. I'm so frightfully tired of waiting for you. Stop the music! Go, go on. There. Oh, you kept me waiting for so long. I decided to work up a little perspiration. <laughs> but my, you have been busy being naughty and messing up our plans. It was oh so close for everything to turn out just right, just the way we hoped. But I can salvage our plan by beating you, little man. And so, there's time for one last frantic dance before the grand finale. Let the music play! I love this. Yes! Yes! Absolutely the best part of this game. Yes! Gotta turn up the volume. Do -do 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 -do. Yes. Alright, here's our next target. I do we ever look around and ask what we're doing here? <laughs> what decisions brought us to this moment? Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, and these guys have like rain dance and shit, don't they? It's just rain dance, and they all have a, they all have like water bowl or something that restores their health slowly. Rain dish. Yeah, rain, rain dish. That's what I said. <laughs> oh, I heard rain dance. That's not gonna kill it. Am I? 
Uh, nope. Oh, okay. Okay. I understand what's happening. <laughs> We're all just jamming. I have nothing to say. Mm -hmm. We're just jamming. Only jams. Oh, animation. Wow. That's a good amount of health from Leaf Seed. Yep. Okay, I think I'm ready to kill this one. Maybe we can invite these guys to the Airbnb. They could be our first guests. We wouldn't have to fight them. We get money from legitimate business. No? No? <laughs> Ugh, double leech seed, huh? Uh, oh, cool. It's really cool. Okay, that one needs to go. Hmm. Yes. Someone in chat! Yeah, we'll invite them over. Uh, really? Yeah, that sounds great. We can g give them some nice breakfasts and, uh... All the beds have landmines under them. No! <laughs> this odd couple bit. <laughs> It's easier when Will's here. <laughs> so close. Oh, thank you, Umbreon. Okay. I see. You're here to be fucking annoying. Keep doubling up on that fucker until he's gone. Well, I guess he can't, but. Yeah. Jesus. Do not flinch me. This guy probably has um, Swift Swim, which is why he's so fucking fast. This is also Gen 3, so weather doesn't go away. You love that. Thank you for not uh, flinching, Umbreon. Oof. Yeah. Alright, I might need to go. Oh, the rain does stop. Oh! Yeah, it's five, five turns. I'm thinking of when it's set from an ability, like drought and stuff. Yeah, I would, um... I think you, if you have both of them attack the weaker Ludicolo, you can kill it because it might dive again and keep sustaining forever if you swap out SB on this turn. I think it's worth the possible That's sacrifice. Not... The one that keeps healing is this one, right? No, it's it's the one that just dived. It's the one with half health. You almost killed him and he restored to like 60% in two turns. So you just want to double up on him and kill him. Okay. I love their their death flare. Yeah. Oh right, they're not all the same level. I forgot about no. that. No. They're they're successive levels. That's funny. Oh, it's beyond. You can you can switch out Pokemon that are leech seated, right? Yes, you can. Yep. Mm, no. No, yeah, yeah, you can. I'm yes, thinking of Ingrain, my bad. Yeah, you're thinking of Ingrain. Um Okay, get up here. Knock down. And just heal Umbreon. 
I guess. No, it's I, like I, I want to cleanse the leech seed. So. Mistrevious, maybe? A couple of years ago, one of my friends cosplayed as a Ludicolo specifically because of this character. I just cosplaying as a Ludicolo is such a funny concept to me. <laughs> When I was in the PAX Pokemon League, there was one person whose gimmick was weather, and they were with their girlfriend who was cosplaying as Ludicolo, and the Ludicolo hat would come off, and she'd spin a, um, an arrow on the top of it, and it would have, like, divisions for the different weathers. So they'd, That's funny. Sp they'd spin it and be like, you got sun! Time to fight the sun team! I love that. Very cute. That's like a real life Pokemon character. Yeah, Ooh. I was like, this is a good gimmick. Good job. Hey! It's... Flappy's just here to paralyze things. Yeah. Eh. Even if it didn't hit, I used Thunder Wave that turn, so yeah. I just used Knock Down with a heal. And, uh,. Fuck you. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, Fluffy! Oh, that's fine. She's out of here. Yep. She did her fucking job. Fluffy's gotta go. Fluffy gotta go. Um... I love how in um, Pokemon France, I don't remember which gen that is, they, uh, six, they have all those dumb rivals, and one of them is like, a, has a dancing themed team, which I think is really cool, and he's actually, he's actually fairly difficult, I'm so, Knocked Owl has misophonia and is so mad about this music. <laughs> Kalos. Good, the rain fucking stopped. Uh. Huh, I've returned. Hello! Yeah. Welcome back! Hi, thank you. So, uh, hey Knocked Owl, I haven't made your acquaintance yet. I, I guess I will now, I'm Espeon. Who? <gasps> Espeon? Ooh. Yeah. And you're Knocked Owl. What are you, uh, what are you interested in, in our oh. organization? Why'd you decide to hop on? Maybe interested in the, uh, budding bed and breakfast part of Terrorism LLC? Boys. You are in hyper mode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boy crazy. Oh. Me too. <laughs> Who? I, I'm boy crazy. <laughs> I just can't get enough of those terrorist boys. <laughs> those naughty, naughty boys. Number one man on the FBI's most wanted list, I'll say. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, has the stream started, Will? Um, it doesn't. It says it's offline currently. Okay, well that's that's okay. Maybe uh, it looks like it's still. It looks like thirty more minutes before the opening ceremony. Like they started stream, uh, but okay. the actual ceremony doesn't start for another thirty. That's oh, good, good then. Fuck yeah. that Ludicolo! Jesus fucking Christ! And the boys leveled up. <laughs> Yeah, Sudowoodo! Yeah, Sudowoodo! That's a Looney Colo! <laughs> <laughs> Shadow Rush. Someone in the chat says, Is is this a terrorism harem anime? 
I think you mean terrorism anime. <laughs> Terrorism. <laughs> you know, when I, I said we should look into renaming Terrorism LLC, this was uh, not really the direction I was hoping for. What's wrong with it? A little on the nose. Also, hmm. like, e Okay, good. The dancing has concluded. Uh, low oh. kick. Is this <laughs> <Ooh. one? laughs> Oh shit, he's like, this thing's pretty tough. Yeah. Just if you, if you hit it with confusion, does it do a good amount of damage? Like, is it all defense and no, uh... We're gonna fight, well, I don't wanna, you know what? Okay. I'd swap Knocked Owl out for Flappy, so you have- or, or just use Hypnosis. I did use Hypnosis. Oh, I didn't see that. My bad. Sleep, young man. I'm yeah, okay. But I'm still partying! This thing is here, hard to catch. Here what comes the style? kick! Yeah, it's fucking annoying. Good thing we have <laughs> unlimited Ultra Ball. Ah, uh, another boy for the coffers. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> I always thought it was for the coffins. <sighs> nope, alright, nope. Sudowoodo, you don't have to come along if you don't want to. Oh, I'm he really doesn't staying want to. here. You're goddamn terrorists. At least with this organization, I get to boogie. <laughs> oh! I mean, yeah. Umbrian and I go out and dance nights sometimes. What? Whoa, you guys go out on dance nights? Choo choo, here comes the third wheel. <laughs> I said choo choo because it's just a big third wheel rolling down alone on the train tracks. <laughs> It's very lost and not welcomed. <laughs> it's pretty quag. <laughs> pretty quag. Ugh. Oh! Yeah! Don't be a fucking tease. <laughs> Don't be such a silly little boy. Oh! Yeah! What? Oh! <laughs> Tiny moves. So I put in the chat, Simp Blue. What? You two go out on dance night? <laughs> Simp Blue. Simp Blue. <laughs> what does Simp Blue evolve into? Uh, oh, something with Stan. I don't know. Something. Oh, with thank you. Jesus. Just. Wow, that was pretty merciful. I can't keep up with the tempo! Oh no, no! What a no no! Huh? <laughs> I don't know how that was supposed to be read. How, how, how dare you! Don't you dare think you'll get away with your latest outrage! One of these days, I will take great pleasure in kicking you about with my elegant dance steps. Oh, and I'm not giving up our shadow Pokemon plan. Let's go! Escape! <laughs> Naruto run! There I go! Kyun Kyun. Wes! Did you hear those cries? It must be Plusle! What a neat dog. I think those cries came from beyond that door. He picks up Plusle in his hands and he's like, Mmm, small dog. <laughs> Look at you. TM49, what one is that? Use some sort of chihuahua. Rain dance, I think. <laughs> It's the yep, it's rain dog dance. I've ever seen in my life. There he is. Just chilling out in the middle of the spotlight. Wait, oh, before I you talk. It. Oh. Oh. Does it teleport oh. me out? I don't know. I was gonna say pick up the item first. Well, we'll find out. <sighs> Wes, you're safe! Oh! And Plusle! This is a huge dog. Cute. Kyun Kyun. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Jesus, it, 
He got hops. <laughs> oh, I'm Rui. Yeah. <laughs> Mirror B got away, but things will be back to normal here. Poverty. It's you, sir. Oh, right, this is me, Dookie. No, I don't know what to say. Forget it, Silva. We're all unharmed. That's good enough. Even that mirror B's been driven out, thanks to Wes. Cute, cute. Hmm, what's that, Plussel? Feeling hungry out of relief? Wah ha ha. <laughs> else who can talk to Pokemon? Hmm? These are dogs. No. These are dogs. I talk to dogs. Okay, Wes, let's quit this moldy cavern and quick. Fuck! <laughs> I think you can get back there really quick because the elevator opens up. Uh, okay. Wes. We owe you a great deal, sincerely. If you were even a bit later, Plusel could have been made a shadow Pokemon. That's horrible. I'm glad everything's fine, Papa. And Plusel, too! What is this? Plusel starts jumping. Oof! Hoof! It seems like Plusel's forgotten their name. I guess it's Kune now. What's the matter, Kuhn? Oh, you want to... Okay, I understand. Wes, could you take my Plusel with you? No, thanks. Plusel is saying it wants to help you, too. Kuhn, Kuhn, Kuhn. Yes, yes, that's right. You can't let those criminals get away with it. That's amazing. We got a cute and brave dog in our party. Wes, I'm counting on you. Don't. What? Well, <laughs> you took her right into your titties. <laughs> I intend to investigate the organization behind Mirror B. As soon as I discover anything, I'll be in touch. Well, Mirror B in touch. <laughs> <laughs> Which reminds me, Wes, I need your PDA number. <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. What? 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 I'm eating mine and it's a fossil, <laughs> but <laughs> he didn't contact us. Perfect. I'll be in touch as soon as we discover anything. I know I said that already, but I wanted to make sure. Ooh, I hope the elevator's open. You might need to go up the stairs from underneath and like backdoor it. Also, check to make sure it healed your Pokemon. It might not have. I mean, I was literally going to the place to... Oh, it did heal. That's so nice. I mean, I can I can just go back there off stream and, like, start next stream there so we can see what was there. That is true. I'm gonna go save. All right. We did it. I think that's a good place to call it. Um, mm -hmm. All right. I think we're gonna go to the forest town next, which is good because we can start getting rid of some shadow Pokemon. Cool. I'm gonna raid Scott Falco. Okay. Uh, see you guys next.